Good morning. Today is the 29th of June 2023 and this is my trading plan for today. On my screen at the moment we've got the SPY one hour chart and I just want to review the levels we've been looking at. So we've got, so we had this high back on the 15th of June followed by a, a lower high and it put us in this downtrend. So that's good. And then, let's delete that. And then we had this double bottom with a higher low and we may be just confirming an uptrend right now. So, so with that in mind, I'm gonna have a, don't really want to have a bias. You know, I wanna trade the chart, not my emotions. But I think, um, I really need to be thinking that that we're going to be in a strong uptrend by us taking the last pattern into account. Um, we've cleared this neckline. If you look, if you look at this, in fact, it's quite. We are looking at a zoom out a little tiny bit. Yeah, it's not as clear on here, but on the MES chart, it's a nice neck and shoulders pattern. Let's go over to MES. So on MES, which the SPY follows quite closely, we have this left shoulder, inverse neck and shoulders, the head, and then we have the right shoulder and the neckline running along here. So that is our, um, that is, might be confirming that we may see a bit of an upward push and I don't know if you saw my video last night on the SPY but in the post market there was an, a pivot which um, ran up, up to about 4.50 I think it was, it was a big pivot, big pivot coming up like that on, on the P market and potentially that might be showing us the direction we're going, it's not there now, the charts are cleaned up but it's, it's interesting, just it might be worth just taking a note, a mental note of that. I think it was um, showing 450 on the, I guess it's daily. And at 450, yeah, there we go, 460. And it was on the pre-market about, about there. And it went all the way up to about, that's too far. It was all the way up to about here, I think the pivot was. And it just happened to coincide with a previous pivot point going back to March 2022. So let's bear that in mind as well. We may see a potential push up with the market. If you look, we're in a bit of a, since October, we've we put in a bit of head and shoulders pattern. So this is the the left shoulder, the head, the right shoulder. We had a bit of a pullback here, potentially another pullback here, and we might be looking right up to here. So, so I think the bias has to be an uptrend. We're in an uptrend until we're not in an uptrend. And if we draw this line here, you can see that we're in a bit of a trending up channel as well. So we we'll probably expect it to stay within oh, I can't be bad but within that area anyway so that's that's what it looks like so I don't want to be biased towards any way but we're in an uptrend so we need a bias and uptrend so going back down to the hourly what I'm looking for today um, this is the hourly spy chart what I will be mainly looking for today will be a a break and retest and I'm watching 438 area which happens to be where that the, the data drop at 830 took us so I want to see it break come back and retest or I'm going to be watching for a pullback to 436.40 436.50 area which happens to be this area of it was a supply zone now it's a demand zone which I need to change the colour so that's my plan for today but slight bias to the upside.
um, any major bounces. The only bounce which, which I would consider getting into and on a full size position would be get my pen back would be this area here. So the 432, I'll be looking for a, for a full size bounce if we get bound down to here. But my eye, my eye was really on the 430 area. So this will be a full size bounce, and I'll be layering in as we're getting down to that area. And the 432 will be a bounce. I'll still go in full size with a couple of couple of start positions. But what I'll be looking for is confirmation as well. So I'll be looking at volume and a reversal candle. So that's, a, that's how I'm going to treat these two separate differently. So the 430 is a major daily area. So that I'm going to layer in probably from about 431 to 430. And my zone takes us a little bit below 430. That takes us exactly up to 430 and 03. So that would be my primary goal watching this area here. Oh, look at that big red candle. Maybe we're seeing a bit of a sell off. So that's the spy. So just confirm my levels again. Major bounce at 430. Major bounce with confirmation at 432. I would consider a scalp bounce at 434.50. And we've got the um, 50 moving average running up as well. So that, and we've got this area we couldn't break down through yesterday. And obviously we've got these areas of um, support in a known in the known zone of um, demand as well. So if we see the market pull down, then I'll be watching for a scalp bounce. And this will be half a size position, too much drawing, half a size position, just getting in probably, I will be targeting this area, 434.56. And then another half a size, another small start position coming out of the zone, but I'll be looking for an ad going back up. So every pullback. So that's my that's my goal for today and spy going to the es or the mes similar to spy i've got the this is the, the mes chart i've got open and on the hourly time frame so again we've had we had this nice double bottom here and we can see this beautiful head and shoulders pattern and we've just seen this big candle coming it looks like it might be a bit of a fake out so let's have a look at the volume, which I don't have on here. Here we go. So no, the volume is pre-market, so you can't really go by that. But but this area again is going to be my supply area, and the area I was watching for a um, one one. Here we go. An area I'm watching for. This would be an area I'm watching for a. Potential retest. It looks like I missed it now, but but that's fine. So I'll be looking for a bounce at 44.10, 4400. These are higher risk bounces, so I'll I'll be probably taking a half a position on each of these, keeping my stops quite tight, just below there and just below there, uh, for the bounce back up. And I'll be looking at a full size position at 43.68.50 to 43.70. And here I'll be layering in um, all my positions until I get a full size. So, so I get in for a start position at entry, start position midway, start position maybe at the edge of that zone. And then I'll be waiting for it to come out of the box the zone and then a pullback for my next position. That'll be a full size bounce. And I think that's it. Let me just zoom out. I'm not sure we're going to see anything else other than that's the main major area. Yeah, they're the only area. So on MES, I'm watching 44.40 for a rejection, It'd be a scalp rejection, or I'll be watching for a break and retest. Then I'll be watching 44.10 for um, for a higher risk bounce because it's quite close to where we are now. 4400 for another high risk bounce, so I'll treat them the same as a normal trade, but we'll get in with a smaller size and look for ads. And then I'll be watching 4368.50 for a full size bounce. And rejection, my only rejection area was 4440. I think that's it. Okay, well, have a good day trading, and I hope to speak to you soon.